when you're running late at night or camping, hiking, doing your outdoor activities, you want a good light to rely on. With batteries, you know, you can trust. And you don't want them to run flat or pack a pair of batteries that don't hold the full capacity. And the good people from GearBest have sent me uh, batteries to try, uh, plus the best charger that I ever had in my hands. So let's see if that's something for me. Man, I'm soaked. Um, I'll have a quick shower and afterwards we'll meet in the underground lab to have a closer look at that said battery charger. Well then, this is the Leto Kala Engineer LII 500. And like all the chargers from the Engineer series, it comes with a display and runs on 12 volts. Uh, there are two power supplies that come with it and it also doubles as a power bank. The charger comes with a mains adapter that accepts a wide range of input voltages and also with a car charger cable that'll fit all cars that run on 12 volt batteries. Uh, the batteries that GearBest supplied with them are AWT IMR cells. These are intrinsically pretty safe and don't require a protection circuit, but they are able to deliver really high currents. So let's see what it looks like when you charge it up. First there's a display text and then it just says null. Unless of course you insert a cell. You insert the cell with a positive pole facing towards the LCD screen. And uh, if you don't do anything, it will start charging right away. But it also has two more modes, which is a fast test and a normal full test for the capacity. And you can also choose the charge currents, which also affects the discharge currents for the test mode. You, here you see the capacity that's gone into the cell. Um, an estimation of the interior resistance of the cell and the charge voltage. The three modes are normal charge mode, fast test and normal test. And here you see the charge sequences. Just to be on the safe side, let's see if the uh, voltage display is correct, which it isn't really the uh, display on the charger is a bit on the high side it seems so uh, don't worry too much about over voltages if there's a well let's do some more tests this is a very long cell here uh, it's got both a protection circuit at the end and uh, the, the the button end on the positive uh, pole uh, but that's about the biggest you'll get into it. And you can choose from the one, two, three, four button, uh, which slot the LCD display shows. You see, see the charge time and all that. Uh, it also doubles as a battery bank and to put that to the test I took a, an iPhone and I'll insert two cells and well it should start up charging my iPhone right away shouldn't it which it does all right let's have a look at the current that it supplies yeah we're charging at 0.8 amps uh, voltage is okay which is great so these batteries here do provide um, the power for the USB possible. Right, that's it. According to the manufacturers, these cells are rated 35 amps. And if we do our math, we will see that at 3.7 volts, that will require a resistor with 0.1 ohms. If you're doing those tests on uh, lithium cells, you should always wear protection. You don't want your uh, body parts to be blown away. First one is um, a test at a little over one ohm, and we can get three amps out of it, 
which is okay for that that rating so let's let's reduce the the resistance so we get higher currents so that's 0.9 ohms a bit less than an ohm that should give us a considerably higher current that's about 8 amps 7.9 and you can also see the uh, voltage dropping down to three and a half volts when it's when it's loaded like that. Now let's go to the extreme uh, to take down the resistance altogether and go to a near short circuit. And I'll use the um, max function of the of the current clamp so we see how much current we got for a short moment. Yep, 103 amps. That, of course, is not a sustainable uh, current that the cell will deliver. Um, it will, it will eventually blow. And you can see the sparking, uh, where, where it handled all the current. After that, the cell charged up okay and obviously did not take any damage. So thumbs up for that cell and for the charger. Bye bye.